Hey friends, forgive the uh, sort of scruff look and uh, you know um, lack of fanciness to this video. I'm just sitting here at my dining room table and uh, you know kind of working through various different things, kind of figuring out what's going on with my week and all that kind of stuff. And I was, I'm reading this book called Talk Like Ted, and uh, one thing that's really cool to me is this this next uh, topic of have a conversation. Um, seems to be my theme this week. Last week's or last few weeks uh, theme was really about stories and you know the last YouTube video I posted I talked about you know how to write a story that converts, how to get your listeners to actually uh, um, trust you enough to take action with you whether that's subscribe, buy, um, you know whatever right, uh, share etc. Um, so this next one's going to be more about have a conversation and you know what's interesting is um, I had somebody it actually floored me uh, on a call last week that said they didn't want to learn to write sales copy. And I was like, you know, it's kind of funny. You kind of already know how. I mean, from a little kid, you know, you, you want that candy bar. You're going to have to convince your parents to get it, right? You have to start off by saying, well, hey, so I've done my chores, reciprocity, right? I've, I've, I've done something for you. Uh, and then you might say, you know, uh, what do they call it? Uh, um, that, you know, I'll brush my teeth, uh, maybe I'll split the candy bar over a couple of days, um, I'll work really hard, hard on my attitude, I'll make sure that, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, but you would sell them, you know, on, on things, right? I mean, shoot, you sell your spouse on things, you sell, um, you know, people on things in your workplace, anyways, sales is actually quite natural to, to everybody, right? I mean, you call up a friend and you want them to go to a concert with you, Nobody has to tell you how to do that, right? You just, first of all, you make sure that your friend actually wants to go to that concert. Hey, what if you actually made sure prospects actually want your product, right? Speaking of which, a little bit of a tip here. Uh, if you're on my newsletter in the next week or so, I'm going to be uh, pitching a, um, uh, offering a really good deal on a, uh, a strategy session where I'm going to personally show you the tools I use uh, to research target audiences and such. But anyway, so having a conversation first of all you have to know who that person is you're having a conversation with right so that's why you have to do the avatar research aka the ideal target customer exercise um but then secondly i mean you know you actually have to you know get into writing from a conversational tone so that's challenging for some people if you're used to writing court documents or you know um university papers or white papers for corporations or whatever but i mean if you talk to people on a regular basis then you have it in you, um, you know. So I mean, unless you sound like a Stanford University uh, professor when you when you write or when you talk, um, you shouldn't. You know, you should be able to channel it. I'm not saying you you'll be able to do it instantly, but it, it's in there, right? So it's not like you say you can't do it. It's more like, well, I just have to work on writing the way that I talk. So uh, anyway, so that's uh, that's uh, my little piece for today. You know, have a conversation and. What's it going to take to write the way you talk? Because people, uh, first of all, there's a bit of a sub, um, a psychological thing that happens when you start writing to somebody in a conversational tone. You enter the conversation in their mind. Um, it's way more powerful than, you know, features and benefits and bland uh, text about a topic. Um, secondly, um, not only does it do that, but it's way easier to read. It's It's more enjoyable to read, especially if you can you know, inject humor or, or at least, you know, uh, whatever. So anyway, point is, um, yeah. So have a conversation, uh, make your stuff feel like you're having a conversation with a close friend. It might even be worth having a conversation with a close friend or having a teddy bear sitting on your desk and talking to the teddy bear and then writing that out. See ya.